What's going on YouTube? Dark World Mofo here with my updated deck profile of my Hazy Flame Kings. So a few of you guys requested an updated build on this, and so I'm going to be giving you guys it today. So not too much has changed, but there are a few changes in it. Um, start off with the two Grunics. Three is way too much. Uh, when the action comes out, I'll probably be playing three. But right now two is good because I don't want it to clog the hand I want it in the graveyard at all times. Or I want it to come out with Onslaught. Two Barongs. He's probably going to go up to three as soon as he actually comes out as well. That's it for the Fire Kings. Those are the only ones I play. As for the uh, Hazies, I play three Cerebus, the Searcher. Two Paradion, the best one, definitely. Just the hardest to get out because you need to tribute him and you have to have another Fire Monster in your hand. But if he resolves, it's uh, very good. You can put a lot of damage on the field and uh, do some really cool stuff. And the two Sphinx, this is the... The guy where you mill, uh, and if you mill it right, you get to special summon any fire, which I really like. So if you have a Grunix in your grave, you want to get out for damage, he's really awesome. For the last of the fires, I play three Fire Dog. Fire Dog's Fire Dog. Cerebus can come out through it, so so can Barong, so you can make level fours, or you can get a uh, uh, floater off. I play two Card Troopers. Um, I like milling my fires to the graveyard for rekindling, put a Grunix in grave for... Uh, Circle or put a Barong in the grave for Circle. It's just really, really nice. Next, we have one Gores and one Trag. I only have one Trag right now. If I had another one, another one would be in here. So, um, you guys can just throw it in or uh, take out like an MST for a uh, second Trag. Definitely, Trag works very well with um, the card troopers. Next up, we have three of this guy. He's amazing. Three of this card, and this card is beyond amazing the fact that you can it's so chainable and it's just it's just so broken overall same with rekindling i have eight targets in my entire deck so this card is almost always live especially with card trooper milling them it's a very good card two hazy pillars i'm not a huge fan of this card but it is nice when i don't have anything to sack for um a parry tin or a sphinx so I do like it, I just don't like opening it when I don't need it. So I might cut it to one, um, I'm not sure yet. I like it at two right now, it's fine at two. Duality, um, this card's also in here, I'm not a huge fan of it right now, but it's really good first turn when you get a floater off with, uh, you go Duality, Cerebus, End, with a Dragon Hand. You can just dig, it helps you dig, it helps you uh, set up for next turns where you want to win the game. Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, and Heavy Storm, obvious staples. And I main triple MST. I really like MST in this format. Uh, traps are just really annoying, and getting rid of them is very good. Uh, Bottomless and Deep Prison hurt this deck a lot with Garunix, because I don't play Lances. If I had Lances, I'd play them, but the fact that a common Lance is $20, I'm going to not pick those up anytime soon. For my traps, the only traps I play are two Torrential and two Call of the Hunteds. I'm going to add Judgment and Warning in when I find some room. But right now, I really like the Torrentials just because they destroy my opponent, my cards with card effects. And same with the Call of the Hunteds. Um, setting it, then Blind MSTing and chaining a Garunix or a Barong or a Cerebus or a Trooper is very good. And he just it's just the extra card when you're like really close to game and you can just flip it in the battle phase and attack for game. It's really awesome. So that's my main deck. I think it's 41. Um, I do have a side put together for you guys, so you guys can check that out. They're not matching sleeves, but um, that doesn't really matter too much. One Raikou and two Fossil Dina. These cards are just very, very good against six Samurais. Um, this card gets rid of, like, Macro, Defissure. This card just gets rid of Problem Monsters, Mermails, uh, Windups, um, six Samurais, like I said. Um, this card that I never liked because it banishes my Graffa. <laughs> But it's very good all around. It's good against the mirror match. It's good against Dark World. It's good against a lot of decks. So I'm going to play it right now because as soon as Fire King Yaksha comes out and Fire King start getting bigger, DD Crow is going to be seeing a lot more play because Garunix is going to be a pain in the ass. Next up, uh, Double Dust Tornado. Double Decree. Two Imperial Iron Walls. This card's really good. Um, it's just so if there's a macro on the field. Defissure on the field, whatever, I can just keep all my stuff in the grave, which is really awesome. And it also shuts down their bottomlesses and deep prisons. Goes in match, I still like this card against windups and dino rabbits, etc. And last, we have two bottomless trap holes. This card, like, a, like I said, is just 
a very good call card all around with uh, Garunix's, Graffa's, anything 1500 or less floating around. I have most of my side deck done, I mean extra deck done as well, so I can show you guys that. I don't have everything I'd like, but I can show you what I do have. Two Basil Trice, this card is overpowered. Strike Boundary, I'm probably going to put in a second one of these because there have been times when I would like a second one of these because this card is just all around a very sturdy card. Uh, Sword Breaker, situational but good. Same with uh, Force Focus. And Gaia Charger is just that uh, extra damage that you have to get in against a de defense position monster. I'd also like to get a... Um, I'm blanking on the card. I'm completely blanked on it, sorry guys. But uh, Utopia, Shock Master, Dijin, Roach, Photon Butterfly, and one Heliopolis for whenever I have two Yaksha's out or the Trag goes level 8. Um, you can just do some pretty situational stuff, but it works sometimes. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my uh, updated Hazy Fire King deck profile. Please make sure to give this video a like. Likes help so much. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. If you guys have any comments or questions, comment down below. I'll be glad to answer them. If you guys have your own uh, deck profile of this or any tips that you could give me, um, I'd be greatly appreciative of them. So thanks for watching. Dark World Mofo out. Peace, guys.